I do not plan on voting for Harris, but I hope she wins. And if that's an incoherent sounding position, welcome to America. It's an incoherent place. I'm writing in free Gaza for president. Harris is definitely going to carry my state. So voting for Harris is just throwing away my vote. More effective use of my vote is to write in free Gaza with the hopes that if I do, the talking heads on cable will be forced to have to say, wow, even in deep blue parts of the United States, the Democratic establishment's stance on Gaza is eroding its support. So the important thing that you got to know is I live in the great state of New York, and New York is not a swing state. For every Republican voter we have in New York, we have two Democrats. And yes, 19% of New Yorkers consider themselves independents. So that's about a fifth. However, when we have presidential elections, we don't see a fifth of New York voters going for third parties. Those independents tend to split right along that same Democrat and Republican lines. One third Republican, two thirds Democrat. In fact, New York is so blue that in the 2020 election, Joe Biden beat Donald Trump by 2 million votes, 5.2 to 3.2. Because again, New York is not a swing state. Heck, the last time New York even went for a Republican was 1984, the year I was born. New York going to Harris is as much of a sure thing as we're going to get in a presidential election. And yes, it's absolutely true that sometimes states purple up. But when they do, it doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen without warnings. If New York was getting swingy right now, you'd see tons of small dollar donations coming out of New York going to conservative candidates, and you do not. If New York was getting swingy right now, you'd see Republicans outperforming their polls and expectations in the last election, the local elections back in November, and you do not. You'd see literally millions of Democrats changing their party registration right now, and you do not. If there was indications that New York might be a swing state for 2024, you'd be seeing Kamala Harris and Tim Walls planning campaign events out in New York, and they're not. I'll be honest, if I lived in a swing state, I might feel differently about this. But I don't live in a swing state, so I don't feel differently about it. In fact, isn't it kinda on me? Me writing in free Gaza for president might be a mid-tier impact of an action, but as a person who votes in New York, it's so low risk, it's indistinguishable from zero, so shouldn't I be the one doing it?